from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Meteorologist Shay Ryan has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. In Tarpon Springs, the police chief says an 11th grader was shot and killed by police who feared for their lives. They responded to 911 call Saturday night that a person was walking around and pointing a military style weapon at people. The chief says Alex King brought the rifle up to his shoulder, charged the weapon and took aim at the officers. We're showing you the photos and the video to provide context of what the officers saw. The officers fired many rounds. King died at the hospital. The chief says upon further examination, that rifle was an airsoft rifle that shoots BBs. The two officers involved are on paid administrative leave, which is standard. The FDLE is now the lead agency in this investigation. Another high profile Florida politician is running to be Florida's next governor. State Senator Annette Tadeo of Miami making the announcement Monday morning. She filed the paperwork needed to run for the state's highest office. First, she has to beat out her former running mate, U.S. Representative Charlie Crist and Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed. If she becomes the Democratic candidate for governor and beats Governor Ron DeSantis, she would become Florida's first Latina governor. More than $13,000 is raised now at the first fundraiser for the Gabby Petito Foundation. Plenty of people came to the event on New York's Long Island yesterday, some from as far away as Tennessee. Some people knew Gabby and her family, others didn't. There was live music, raffles and food. The organization asked for donations to forward its mission. Gabby's dad, Joseph, said he set up the foundation so no other parent would have to find a missing child by themselves. The horror film Halloween Kills earning $50 million at the box office, the highest opening weekend since the pandemic began, even as it also debuted on a streaming service. Now here's meteorologist Shay Ryan with Florida's most accurate forecast. Certainly a beautiful start to the day and as we move through the day, we've had a lot of sunshine, fair weather clouds and overnight tonight, those clouds clear out, leaving us with a gorgeous start to the day on Tuesday with lots of sunshine. It's going to be one of those comfortably cool starts to the day, much like we had on Monday morning and through the afternoon, the temps will warm up just a little bit more. Now we are going to keep that humidity level just kind of gradually coming up over the next couple of days, so it isn't going to be a dramatic dramatic shift from one day to the next. You can see the high temps are leveling off in the upper 80s to about 90 degrees through the week, but the overnight temps as a result of the humidity climbing are also going to come up back into the low 70s. So that's going to be a uh, mild and muggy start to the day by the time we get to the end of the week when our next front is actually approaching around Friday, giving us a chance for some rainfall. And then behind it, the temps and the humidity will drop just a little bit is the way it's looking right now.